Hello, my friends. This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. This week's quick tip video, we're going to cover how do you add little directional arrows uh, before your values. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, so specifically with something like a tool tip, let's say that uh, you want to have a little arrow that shows you up or down depending on, you know, if a value has increased or decreased relative to a prior period. Uh, now, historically, the way that I had done this is that I would write an individual calculation that would give me these little arrows. Um, so like if order growth's above zero, make it an up arrow, or if it's less than zero, make it a down arrow. And that's okay, that works. Um, but Ray Gibbler and some of the community on LinkedIn uh, that talk about Tableau uh, helped me out and kind of showed an easier way. I picked it up in one of those posts and uh, specifically the idea there was you could actually utilize custom number formatting to put these little arrow indicators in there so that you don't have to write a separate calculation. Um, so let's do one of those from scratch. Uh, specifically, I have not hooked up anything for sales uh, year over year yet, so let's do that. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into my sales growth percentage calculation, which is already pre-calculated. Um, side note, I'll drop a link to this workbook in the description, so if you wanna download this and pick it apart, you can. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into default properties and number format, okay? So right now the number format is set as a percentage with one decimal place, that's cool. Now I'm gonna flip down to custom, okay? And then this is where uh, things can get kind of fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy uh, a couple of codes and I found them on alt-codes.net. So uh, if I can find this web page again, I'll give it to you. Uh, regardless, you should be able to pick this apart in the workbook. So first of all, what happens with a positive value? It's an up indicator and then the percentage. Now, when I do a semicolon, anything that happens after the semicolon is now for negative values. So what I can do is pop back over here and then I'm gonna get my down, oh, let me close this thing, get my down arrow indicator and then I'll do down 0.0%. So keep that same percentage, one decimal formatting, uh, but now I get that little arrow in there. So. Um, cool. Uh, you want to be a little careful with this. Uh, let me refix this worksheet, which just changed sizes on me. Nice. You want to be a little careful with this, right? Because anywhere uh, that I have that value now, it would do that. So even if it was like the label on the end of a bar, I would get that arrow indicator. So you want to make sure you do that specifically for the instance of that field that you intend to use, you know, in a place like this, like a tool tip or, you know, a summary tile. So hopefully this has been helpful on how to add that arrow indicator and let us know if you have questions. We'll catch you on another video here soon. Thanks.